Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Pro Games Player, and welcome back to another video. And it's that time of the year again, a mid-year update for Crash of Cars. And a fitting reason to play on the water park map, because this new update promises to bring a lot of new summer-related upgrades, or at least features, including some new epic cars, and a system which I think will change the game for the better. And we will go through all of these upcoming changes in today's video. And as of today, these are the only changes. So the last post as of today's video was made on the 6th of July. There hasn't been anything new revealed. So either I have yet to make another video about another feature that hasn't been covered in today's video. Or the update is about to be released and we can all just play it. But... Until then, we're going to talk about the new features, which are going to be dropping on this new update. And we're going to start with the least interesting features to what I think are essentially the most important and most exciting features being added to Crash of Cars. Let's start with the first feature, and that is the new Epic Car. So, yes, there's a new Epic Car. It was shown, there was a video preview of it, and basically you wait a while... And then you get the ability to form a wave and cast cars away, stun them at the same time, which I think is a pretty cool idea. You know what? I actually do like that epic car, but I'm starting with this first because it's not as exciting as what should be an even more exciting fusion car because chances are a fusion car is going to have something even more special to make it even better, but... I, st I still think this is a strong start. The Epic Car is a strong start, and I have nothing against it. The idea is pretty cool. The car looks pretty cool, and I really want to get a hand on that Epic. But as we all know, you'll have to buy with gems from the start, and then in a future update, maybe all the way in the next winter update, we may be able to unlock the car from the prize machines. But... I guess up until that point, we will have to spend gems in order to unlock the car. But you're probably wondering, how am I saying that the Epic car might not be as interesting as the Fusion car when we have no idea what the Fusion car even is? We did get just a teaser that uh, the Shadow in the fire truck and another car, which I don't remember which one it was. I'll put a picture up so you can see yourself are going to be the cars consisting for this fusion car plus a fourth car which hasn't been revealed yet so this could be a potential third new car aside from the epic and a fusion car that we might be getting in this update and you know what whatever the car is i think it's going to be something water related because the fire truck was one of the cars required to unlock the fusion car but like i said this is all for the next update and we still don't know what's going to happen, um, what the fusion car is going to look like, what the ability is going to be, but it's definitely going to be something with water. And again, I just really can't wait to get this update. But enough talking about that. We're going to talk about perhaps the very thing that's going to make this update probably one of the best updates we've seen in Crash of Cars. Now, don't get me wrong. Last update was I would say it was pretty good, you know. And there were a few updates before this which added some new game modes and all that. But we're talking about an update which is going to make people or at least get them to use all of the other cars in the game. Now, this is a problem which uh, a lot of us may want to say it is a problem. And that is that many players only use a few cars. Like, yeah, I know, I'm... I'm in this pool of players. I do tend to use the speed cars primarily, uh, the Grand Veloci. I haven't really used the mini tank in a while, but there are a lot of players who use these specific cars and they try and get high scores with these specific cars. And this new update will apparently make a new high score system for which if you achieve a certain high score with any of the cars in the game, you will be able to unlock stuff like skins and maybe even new cars with every other car in the game. So we're talking all commons, all rares, epics, legendaries, maybe even the fusion cars. 
Now, this here, this is a feature which I think would have actually been way more fitting for the fifth anniversary of Crash of Cars because then again, that was an anniversary. That, that was a big thing. But hey, you know what? Better late than never. This is a feature which I think it's actually going to really change the game. It's going to make people try and make high scores with different cars. But most importantly, what I think it's going to do is instead of judging players how good they are at the game just from their high score, now people will judge who is great at the game not just by the high score but by which car they use to get to that high score. For instance, let's say someone makes a high score of 200 with the mini tank, which you know is not that impossible of a high score. If you are an experienced enough player, you can reach a high score. But if you make a high score of let's say 150 with a school bus, you're pretty much dismissed at that point because it's a lower high score. But think about this. The person who used the mini tank got 200. The person who used the school bus got 150. Now, yes, it is 50 crowns less, but it's pretty much an incredible feat to be able to make such a high score with a common car. And obviously, my point would have been better if I just said a person using a school bus and a mini tank, both of those people got the same high score. Who would you say is the better player? But even nowadays, someone might just say by logic, yeah, it's a school bus driver. But you can't really say that for sure because there isn't really a system, a high score system to really measure that sort of thing. Uh, maybe you got lost at what I was trying to say, but my point was... It doesn't really matter what car you use to get a high score. All that matters is you get a high score. With this new update, it's going to matter a bit what car you use to get the high score. That's the whole point of this update, and I'm actually really for this. I do like using cars other than the big ones myself. Now, yes, I am using, ironically, a Speed 2.0 during this video, but that's my point. I want to use different cars i want to use common cars i want to use rares and epics more so i'm really looking forward to this update i i'm saying that this is probably going to be one of the biggest updates for crash of cars in a while i don't really know which was the last this big update i would probably say it's the one that had an actual new game mode added because the new maps and the new cars are sort of a standard thing in this game now one other thing i actually want to mention is that so far there actually uh, there actually hasn't really been a teaser about a new map being added to this update but i actually think there is no need to add a new map when a new high score system is being added to the game in which case there isn't really a need to have a new map in the game but yeah, these are my thoughts. This is what I think about the new update. Obviously, we just have to wait and see what this new update brings to us. And maybe you can tell by the amount of coins that I have that I'm saving up for a prize machine opening once the new update drops. Because surely there will be new cars to unlock from the prize machines once the update drops. But what do you think about this new update? Write in the comment section below. And that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Don't forget to watch my other videos and I'll see you later. Peace.